Hello and welcome gorgeous Gemini to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards if you do take notice of that because it is a direct message from Spirit to your situation. You may also like to think of a question that you would like to receive guidance on or an answer to. And by the end of the reading, it will be revealed in the cards. Let's take a look at your first message. Your first message is about going with the flow. You might be trying to hold on to something, hold on to, uh, hold on to the past maybe. But you know what spirit is talking about here for you. It's about relaxing and it's about trusting the flow. Accept what is happening right now. Try not to fight it. Okay, that's the thing. Try not to fight it. Being open to abundance as well. So it will be easier to be open to abundance if you relax and trust uh, where you are at. So then you can believe that you deserve because you definitely deserve except plenty and prosperity accept this energy accept the beautiful bounty that is coming to you all of these beautiful things here health wealth security romance if that's what you're wanting to open up to um, it's there but you must believe that you deserve it ascension lift Prepare for rapid spiritual growth and be ready for opportunities. Okay, be ready for the opportunities that are about to flow in. You know, this is being open to abundance because there is going to be an opportunity that flows in very soon for your Gemini. And it is going to be a yes. That's the answer is going to be a positive yes, something that you're looking forward to. There is going to be a rapid growth, a rapid development that you make. In regard to a situation, um, you know what that is, something you've been wanting to grow, develop or have growth in. And that's going to be um, what's happening here. Mahatma energy, build your light body and accelerate your ascension, accelerate going to the next level in your life in some way. That's what I've been seeing with all the cards so far for you, that there is an acceleration, there's a movement forward, which is uh it's 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 like you're you're stepping forward into the week and into the weeks ahead with such confidence or with such um there's a there's a pace to it you know that things are speeding up this ascension you know this uh getting to the next level um working things out in a way that's right for you um whatever you've been waiting on is going to be uh, it's, it's going to start moving. The energetics are that you're going to start moving. You need to reach out to someone, okay? It might be an intuition that you have to reach out to someone. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and unite all of humanity. You need to reach out. Someone needs your help or assistance, guidance, love, connection. And so you will have that intuition. You will feel who this is. And, um, and Spirit's prompting you to actually, actually reach out to them in a real way. We have a water sign here. So uh, this may be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. I allow my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life, especially emotionally, because that's what the water symbolizes, your emotions. So if you are going through changes in your life at the moment, you know, it's about flowing intuitively. Going back to the first card here, it's about going with the flow. have Archangel presence in your life, Archangel Gabriel. I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. Powerful stuff. If you want to bring this Archangel in, you can definitely call this Archangel in this week if you want to. Hold out hope for a situation that seems lost and listen to your heart and your intuition. 
nature spirits. I respect all of nature's elemental beings and help preserve life on earth. So something to do with nature, maybe you're gardening, maybe you are growing food, maybe you are connecting to environmentalism in some way, getting out in nature, walking in nature, hiking. There is something going on where you are connected to nature. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. And one more card here. There we go. All right. So we have ascending the mountain. You are, you know, you have a, a mountain ahead. You've, you've got to scale this mountain. You have to ascend the mountain. It's a challenge. It's an obstacle. Keep going forward. You know, it's there. But you can keep going forward and spirit is encouraging you to keep going. You know, don't look back to the past here. Don't fall back into old ways. Keep moving forward. Ascend this mountain. You can do it. You are protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. You are protected by angelic forces protected on this journey you're going to be uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty you're stronger than you think you are and in fact when you keep going when you ascend this mountain of challenge whatever it is for you specifically you're going to uncover this beautiful treasure you didn't even know was there taking shelter the answers are within so connecting to yourself, listening to that intuition, which has come up several times in the reading already is important. Listening to your heart. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. So we have a free spirit. You're wanting to be a free spirit. Be your own person. You're wanting to be your own person. You're not wanting to be boxed in. You're not wanting to be confined in a space that is not authentic to you. You can be a free spirit and you can have freedom and you're working towards it. Keep going. You're overcoming obstacles. You're going to get there. Don't be afraid to be authentic and be your own person as well and make your own decisions. And don't be afraid to not agree with others. Forgiveness, yes, very powerful. Compassion and kindness and having forgiveness for yourself and having forgiveness for others. This is what spirit wants you to learn. This is a big lesson, big lesson for you. Forgiveness and acceptance. The cycle of life. Acceptance of where you are at. You're exactly where you need to be right now. Spirit is with you. You are protected by angels. The cycle of life is happening right now. So there's a there's a momentum that's happening right now. And spirit is overseeing it. Yes, listen to your intuition. Inner wisdom, inner wisdom. Yes, your intuition is telling you something. So what that is, is going to be different for everybody, of course. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Let's see what this card is here. The acceptance, being in harmony, accepting what is, accepting something difficult is going to bring harmony, balance, ease, peace of mind to you. And that is the most important thing. Spirit acknowledges that it needs to happen. And that's why this card is showing up. Acceptance. The page of angels. This is a message, a communication from your angels, from source, through your intuition. There is going to be a message come through, most definitely. A new love, the ace of hearts, a new love, a new venture, a new experience, a great miracle of love, all that you love. Flows into your life, lands in your lap. Something that brings you joy, brings passion to your heart, all that you love. So a newness, a new beginning. Maybe you have been watching and waiting, watching and waiting 
for some kind of momentum to happen, some kind of message, something to move forward. Well, no, Gemini, that it is a breakthrough time for you and it is happening this week. You're going to start to see glimpses of it. You're going to start to watch it happen. The past is going to be discussed. The past is going to be present in your life in some real way. Don't hold on to it, though. It's not something that you're wanting to grasp onto. It's something that you're needing to release. The lovers, it could be a connection to a romantic partner, but this could be a union, a bond, getting closer to yourself, your truth, getting closer to your truth getting closer to the divine, getting closer to you being the best that you can be. So let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your heart, with your intuition, see if this resonates for you or not. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.